Hey guys, it's Wednesday. Uh, for those of you guys who haven't watched the last two weeks of the videos, I'm Steve. Uh, I believe this topic is about books, which is awesome. I, I absolutely love books. I spent a good amount of my childhood reading books. Um, I got grounded a lot. I didn't do my chores or I didn't do my homework or I got yelled at because I didn't do something. I don't know. I got in trouble a lot. My, my, my parents liked to ground me a lot. So they would take away my toys and my Game Boy and my Xbox and all of my anything else I had other than my books, which is cool. I, I read a lot because of that, and it was really awesome because I had to learn a lot of cool stuff and I read a lot of cool books. All right, so any you asked us to talk about a favorite book. Cool. This right here, it's my favorite book. It's called The Redemption of Alphalus. It's by David and Lee Eddings. It's really well written. It's a sci-fi fantasy book. They do a lot of cool stuff. It's about a thief who has to fight down some evil bad guys. Pretty good stuff. Uh, the characters are really well written. The, the interactions and the chemistry between the characters is awesome. And yeah, I would definitely suggest if any of you guys like fantasy but novels, go read this. Yeah. Um, as far as book series go, like other books that we really like. Um, even though it's not one of my favorites, this is definitely a really good book series. It's uh, another David Eddings book. It's called The Elenium. It's actually three books. It's uh, The Diamond Throne, The Ruby Knight, and The Sapphire Rose. Uh, it's about a knight named Sparhawk. He's really funny. He refers to everybody as neighbor. It's, it's really interesting. And, he, and just like The Redemption of Alphalus, the characters are really cool and relatable and really awesome characters. So if you like fantasy, I would definitely suggest you read any of his books. Uh, I'll put a link down below like to his Am an Amazon page where you can find his books or something. Uh, one of my all-time favorite book series, though, is right here. It's uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, most people, you know, at least heard of it. You get that movie, you get the TV show, you get the old radio broadcast, you got the weird point-and-click adventure game, and texting adventure game. It's a lot of cool stuff. Uh, it's a really cool series. I'm not going to talk about it because most people have heard of it. So if you, if you like sci-fi fantasy and haven't read this, get on it. Uh, as you can see from my shirt, uh, I'm a huge fan of John Green, the Vlog Brothers. So I'm going to go out here and just say, read any of his books. So this is Paper Towns, this is one of his. Uh, they're really good. They're not sci-fi fantasy. They're more of like a, I guess, teen romance novel sort of thing. But they're well written. He's got some cool stuff. And if you haven't watched his videos or haven't read his books, please do that. They're, they're good. As Andy was saying on Monday, I just finished reading uh, Clash of Kings, the second book in the uh, Song of Fire and Ice series. They're really good books so far. I'm really enjoying them. I'm actually a good chunk of the way through this one right here, A Storm of uh, Swords. It's really good. Uh, I enjoyed the HBO series. I enjoyed the books a lot. If you haven't read them or checked the show at all, I would definitely suggest doing that. It's, it's actually really good. Uh, lastly, I have a joke here. It's, a, it's an awesome book, but it's really funny. It's not really one of my favorites, but I put it up here. It's called How to Beat Up Anybody. It's by Judah Freelander. He plays uh, Frank on 30 Rock. Uh, basically, it's an illustrated guide on how to beat up anybody. I mean, let me just open up to a random page here. He's fighting ninjas on a building in New York City, and in the bottom there's a little flip book of him roundhouse kicking a guy. It's pretty cool. Uh, I believe that comes to the end of my book section of this video. Um, next week's video probably will not be shot here. It'll probably be also a little lower quality. I'll be shooting it from my parents' place in New York. Uh, I'm going home for two to three weeks. So my next few videos might be a little lower quality. Might even not be shot on this camera. Hopefully they will be, as long as I can bring my equipment with me to New York. Um, I have a few more videos to edit. I'm probably not editing story time because I would probably reshoot it and make it a little better because it's kind of bad and really hard for me to edit. So if you guys are down, Whitley should reshoot that because it'll take like maybe an hour tops to reshoot it. Uh, other videos, Zach should be almost done editing Double of Bucks. So that'll be up soon. I gotta edit the uh, announcement video, announcing all of our videos on our other channel. Probably edit that up tonight, maybe tomorrow, probably tomorrow because I like to read books and play video games, so I won't be editing tonight. As it is tomorrow, Zach's on Friday. Dustin, who's an illiterate fuck apparently, according to both Scott and Andy. His video is on Saturday, and probably won't be about books, unless he decides to talk about books. And... Yeah, this is the end of my video. I will see you guys next week. 
It's in my video. This is take number 22. Because I kept fucking up, so. Yeah. I'm done. Fuck these videos. I'm never making another one again. No, I'll see you guys next week. Later.